Our friend Darty Long from the Chattanooga Zoo is here, and as you saw at the top of the show, Darty brought along a very special guest. Darty, good morning to you, good and morning. good morning to Kiwi. That's right, Kiwi the kinkajou. Uh, exactly, what is a kinkajou, and what is it related to in the animal world? You know, they're really very different to just about anything. They're kind of like raccoons, even distantly once related to red pandas. So they're very unusual. They are not, however, related to primates, which makes it kind of interesting because they really look more like a little monkey, if you are. Right. No, no, it certainly acts like one. The uh, <laughs> yeah, was all over the studio before we came on the air. And the diet, uh, what you're feeding her is raisins and grapes. She's a big fruit eater and actually very important pollinator because these guys stay up in the trees all the time. And mm -hmm. so they eat a lot of fruit and then they poop it out on the, on the forest floor and right. it helps repollinate things. So really important to the... Um, ecosystem they live in. Look yeah. at her go for the glass. Oh, yeah, she's she, loves. she has great table no, she, manners. Oh, yes, she does. She's going to wait that. until she finishes. Now watch that. She has such, she's very mobile. She can stand upright. She can also use her tail prehensively. They don't use it quite like monkeys to swing or anything, right. but they do use it for balance. And I saw her walking on her back legs. Yes, she can do a little bit of that. She's very mobile, and they have these weird joints in their back legs that allow them to kind of wrap them around. They're just really unique and wonderful animals. And part of our um, extension of the new exhibit, we have a new tamarind exhibit, and we have six mm -hmm. species of tamarinds. Right. They're wonderful. Sorry, five species of tamarinds, and they're just really wonderful, tiny little creatures. And I think what's unique about having all these different rainforest animals, there you go. You get to go, go. oh, yeah, no, feeding the animals there. Look, look chips go there. Yeah, okay, well, you're in trouble now. Please don't <laughs> feed the animals. <laughs> she's um, yeah, she's all right. about her grapes. And you've expanded the uh, Kikajou exhibit, correct? We have. She has some additional space along with her uh, siblings that have been all been born at the zoo. Uh, she's about to be 25 next week. Um, really? Or next month, sorry. Wow. Uh, so she's been at the zoo for 25 years, uh, not much shorter time than I have. What's so. the life expectancy? You know, they have had recordings of them living up into the 40s, but she's uh -huh. beginning to be what we would consider more geriatric. Um, she's still very agile, and we just started training these guys as ambassadors. A lot of times they don't like being restrained. So I was telling you, as long as she can sure. move around, she's quite happy. But she's also nocturnal, so she's really doing us a big favor by waking up <laughs> just to see you. So she's, I noticed right. a minute ago she thought she might go to sleep. And what, what else is new and improved at the zoo? You know, at, in addition to the Tamron exhibit, we've also got some great new programs starting up. Okay, it's really kind of cool. She doesn't get down to drink a lot of water, so they get a lot of water from the fruits they eat. So she'll turn her head sideways to make sure she gets all that liquid. That's what right. the okay. odd head tilt. But got yeah, it. we've got some great new programs, and of course, field trips are starting up, and we're just we're thrilled to death. Last weekend was just beautiful, and mm -hmm. we had um, almost 1,500 people come through the zoo, which wow. is a huge number for January. So we're really thankful sure. for that. Yeah. So what's a little bit further down the road as we get closer and closer to spring? You know, right now, of course, we are still working on the African expansion. We have actually started making some moves to um, build a wall that will start the giraffe ex uh, exhibit, mm -hmm. or so the giraffe barn. And we're also working on a couple of other things. We're going to be doing an indoor Komodo area, which we will uh, be offering in Cal. Okay, she saw yours now. That's there we all go. Right. All right, I'm good. Well, there we go. Okay, and down the back side. She's looking for your chair back. There we go. She can find uh, it. She can. She can. can. You see her? Okay. No, no, she's Come on back. There we Come go. On. There you go. All right. She's got hold of you. You feel how strong she is? She is. She, they the don't grip. fall out of the trees. <laughs> the grip on her front paws. Yes. Yeah, she's impressive. really, yeah. She's really, she's very amazing. But, right, um, and more. we're also looking at acquiring anteaters, which would be a new species. We're really working on that South American area. Okay, she's done. Um, as we continue to work on Africa mm -hmm. to make sure we have plenty of fill in. There we go. Right. Um, we're trying to keep everybody excited when they come, but the tamarinds are really cool, and you can actually see them even though they're a uh, uh, south. Oh, she's. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> is it? Look, I only have a few seconds left, but I wanted to ask you. <laughs> oh, good, because I'm running out of grapes. <laughs> <laughs> is it too? Um, is it too soon to start booking spring field trips? Oh no, we've had them on the book since last fall, so absolutely now is a great time to do it, and okay. we have some amazing programs that they're offering, but now is definitely the time to do it. Be sure and ask about the grants we have for both Hamilton County and now Northwest Georgia, thanks right. to a grant from the Community Foundation, and I you think uh, she's done. She got uh, time to take a nap. Yes. Well, time for us to take a break. No naps for us, <laughs> but if you want to find out more about Kiwi and the other Kinkajous at the zoo, Check them out anytime online at chatzoo.org. That is chatzoo.org. Are you hungry? And do you like quilts? We'll tell you why. Both of those are important as we continue on the Wednesday edition of Let's Chat.